Welcome back. Now we've got Professor Abiodun Ogunyemi, who is the president of ASU. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you for having well, Dr. me. Dr. Babalaki, he's, he's really liked a lot of uh, issues. But first of all, what is the bone of contention for you? There are two categories of issues. Uh, the first one is the issue of uh, renegotiation. We started uh, before this action, and uh, we were forced to terminate the negotiation because of the antics of the leadership of the committee, the government committee. Uh, the other category of issues is about um, uh, the outstanding issues on the MOA, Memorandum of Action of 2017, uh, areas that government has not fulfilled his promises. Now, for the 2009, what, what, because, I mean, he says that there is a periodic pro process that has to be renegotiated and uh, implemented. At what point would you say that something went wrong and you went on strike? 2009? Yeah, the, 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 the agreement, because he's chairing the renegotiation committee, isn't he? The 2009 agreement has four major elements. Uh, we talk about uh, funding, adequate funding for university system, conditions of service for lecturers, uh, university autonomy and academic freedom, and other related issues, including establishing an uh, environment that is conducive for lecturers to discharge on their mandate. Uh, these are the four categories. OK, in that case, let's talk about funding then. Because that seems to be the key issue in this. Yes. Uh, because his position is such that he thinks that uh, ASU, you don't want key performance index. Any fund that government releases to ASU, he says there's got to be KPIs for all of those so people can see how you're progressing. And secondly, why is it that, or is it that ASU doesn't want autonomy for universities? Hmm. Well, the definition of autonomy must be made clear. Autonomy is about governance. Uh, the university governance following laid down procedures are spelled out in the law establishing each university. Academic freedom has to do with well, areas of research, areas of teaching, and so on. What we should control our activities in the system as permitted by the laws. Uh, it is not that ASU doesn't want autonomy. The kind of autonomy we are talking about here is the one that has a foundation. Foundation in terms of the quantum of resources government has put into the system so that the system can fund and can work adequately. Uh, I heard him mention the University of Ibadan. University of Ibadan is 70 years old now. Uh, University of, of Ibadan grew out of University of London. Before University of Ibadan came into existence, University of London had existed for over 100 years. So we're talking of, uh, if you want to compare universities in Nigeria, with universities like that, you must think their history and pedigree into context. In which case, from which foundation are they operating? We don't have that foundation laid here. We were about getting there in the 70s when they truncated the foundation for university education. And that was why ASU became uh, more persistent in demanding for the restoration of university uh, integrity so that we can have the enabling environment for lecturers to discharge on their mandate. Speak about the KPIs. Yes, the KPI thing, uh, well, it's antithetical to what goes on in the university system. Uh, it was trying to, from the proposal he gave, he was trying to impose uh, a uniform uh, so-called measurement into the system uh, that has its own original system, I mean, original system of measuring performance. Uh, I, there was a confusion that came out from his presentation. It is not about funding that was to be measured. As for accounting for what government gives the system, we already have our own uh, innovative approach to doing that. We have what we call budget monitoring committee on every campus today. And that means that for every contract that will go out, that committee will meet and, this, and decide on what we need that committee will monitor the award process, which we call the uh, uh, procurement. And uh, the delivery process will also be monitored and evaluation. Uh, all these things are going on, and the uh, KPI is coming in to say that we need to measure how uh, you need to account for the money you get. Well, we already have a system. And of course, KPI, KPI is, an, is an imposition from some international agencies. We don't need to call it KPI before we measure 
what we do in the system. Every system has annual appraisal and an annual appraisal mechanism. Autonomous so that they can begin to run their system and raise their own funds. Well, you know, you know uh, JAM came into existence as a regulatory agency and it was just to moderate the process to ensure that the established procedures are not violated. Uh, in that case, JAM has no power, for instance, to say we are admitting students and posting students to universities. That is not part of their mandate. And that has been challenged over time. There was a time, one, I mean, about two years back, when JAM started to post students to private universities. It is at variance. But, Prof. Wait, wait a minute. It, it, I, I'm trying to still wrap my head around this. If you're saying, uh, why must it be called KPI? Because if someone is uh, providing funds, there's nothing wrong in asking, look, we need to be sure that the purposes for which these funds are being provided for are being achieved. But was, was that part of his mandate? That was not part of their committee's mandate. So that was not part of his committee's mandate. It, the universities have laws. That is why we said what they were bringing up was antithetical with uh, autonomy. So it's a question of nomenclature here. Not necessarily so. Because we if, say we have mechanism for achieving all of this. So why don't you provide the to... records for them so that they can match it against what the what the funds have been provided? See, that way the back and forth ends. Our, our problem, our problem with Dr. Wale Babalaki is fixation. 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 Yes. Now he comes to you with his own position. Once you don't take it, he overrules you. No, but he says this is it's a negotiation. He says he's just speaking, there's a team 